Hello everyone, welcome back to the Tableau Tutorials. In this video, we are going to discuss about the concept of map groups in Tableau. So what is map groups? Um, map groups is a way through which we can group the related data in maps. So uh, this is a field map that we had created in the previous video. It shows us the color wise distribution of the profit and it um, uh, shows it on the basis of the states like which state is giving us how much profit okay so that's a simple map however if I just remove this profit from here so it uh, turns into a normal symbol map okay so let's just say I want to add sales into it so let's just add sales into the color column so this is what I would be getting that is a colored range lighter color represents less sales and a darker color represents high amount of sales okay now the question is uh, how can I work with the map groups and what is the purpose of the map groups? Suppose uh, this is the whole map of United States and in this I have four uh, people who are in charge of the different regions. Okay, There are people who, uh, to whom I have uh, assigned different regions like we have this uh, region function, so uh, region parameter. So if we just remove the sales and get in the color parameter. So what happens is these are these four regions central, east, south and west that we are getting over here. Okay, so let's just say uh, get the sales into the label and uh, actually convert it into a field map like this and get the region into the color. So basically it won't be converted into a field map, right? Uh, we would be getting something like this only, right? That is the symbols for the different regions and the sales amount would be written like this. Okay, so what if I just don't want this? I just want to remove the region from here and the sales amount. Let's just get into the color to convert it into a field map. Okay, now what happens is I want to color code it this field map. I want to color code this field map into the different people or into the different regions. How can I do that? So for that, I can create groups of my own, right? Suppose I have people who are in charge of the various states. Let us uh, just select few states. Now, if you want to select multiple states, you can simply use control click. Suppose these are the states that I have selected. Now, once you're selected, you can just hover over it and there would be this paper clip icon. You can click on it and that would convert it into a group. Now, as soon as we do that, uh, what happens is we are getting a blue color for this and a legend is there that tells us that it is a state group with a blue color representing a combination of all the states that have been taken into it and all the others are uh, taken as other and colored as gray. Now let's make a few changes into it. Also, you can see that a state group has been added into a data part. So we can just right click over it and click on edit group. So we can just uh, change the different things like the name of the group. So we can just click on it and click on rename. So suppose let's me assign it as region one. Okay, so region one is the name of this particular group and you can click on okay. Now, once you do that, this is the region one that is colored in the blue color. Let me just select few more states and assign it to region two. Okay. Uh, using this kind of an option that is drag and select, you can select multiple states. Again, we can just use this paper clip icon to just provide it another group and it automatically takes an orange color. Right. Let me take just a few more states together like this or uh, remove these two. and add these three and uh, again we can just group them using the paper clip icon so that's the third group and uh, the fourth group is just the gray part which is few states over here so let's just go to the state group option once again edit the group and we can just provide uh, new names for them so let's just go to rename and provide it as region 2 and the third one i can uh, rename it to region 3 so region 3 and that's it we can click on ok so we have these three regions region 1 region 2 and region 3 now what happens if i just um, remove all of this information like the sum of the sales from here um, as you can see the state group is already taken into the colors part 
that means that is through which we are getting the distribution of the colors right and what we can do is just keep the state names and the color over here next what we can do is add some more data out of it, uh, to it okay so suppose i want the sales amount i can just drag it into the label part so i'm getting the sales of the individual states right suppose i want to add a filter on the region so let's just get a filter over here uh, and that is available click on ok and what i can do is right click over here and click on show filter now what will do, uh, it do it will help me to select a few regions only suppose i want to compare region 1 and region 3 so i'm able to compare these two together just like this okay so uh, basically all this thing all this arrangement uh, this filter arrangement makes the map more interactive like uh, including only the regions that we want to compare so uh, this is how it works right so this is about a data set again which is of united states like uh, all the states that are given is of united states now we have already discussed that Tableau automatically recognizes if the data is from United States. However, if the data is from other country, let's say we have uh, data about India. So how do we do that? How do we work with it? Okay, so that's the question. So for uh, first of all, let's take a look at a data set that we would be using for this purpose. Okay, so uh, this is our data set that we would be using. Um, this is the name of the states of India, states and union territories and uh, some data about the COVID-19 right like the cases the uh, deaths etc the cured people so there is a uh, few records there are a few records uh, let's just take a look at them so first of all what we need to do is load data into tableau so let me just do that quickly so uh, this is what i am getting as the data source uh, let's just um, work with it if you just go to the sheet 14 so we are getting two data set that is the india data and the orders data so we have states and union territories uh, let me just get it into the details part as soon as i do that if there was a us data it would have automatically recognized it and showed us the locations on the map but in the case of india we are getting 36 unknowns over here that is the locations with unknown geographical identity so we can just click over here uh, go to edit locations option and here you can see all these locations are unrecognized okay so what we need to do is just change the country from united states to india over here okay and that's it as you can see it has recognized all of the values you can click on okay so uh, there were no unrecognized values because if there was any unrecognized value we would still have got the warning that this much is unknown so uh, we have got it and we can just add any of the data into it suppose i want to add the cases so this is the cases distribution if i want to add the cured number into the label so that also i can add and that would give me the information just like this okay uh, you can use the move tool over here for navigation or for zooming in and out so this is the data that i am getting so this is about how you can work with a map of any country besides united states furthermore uh, suppose uh, you have a data that is of country and still after just changing the country it does not recognize it so how do you do that you can uh, use the drop down list to make it manually recognize your data set right so let's just see how do we do that real quick so uh, this is the data set that we have um, that is the different cities and the number of stars that we have now let's just use the city into the details part and it has got six unknowns so let me just edit the locations and first of all select the country to india okay now even if I select that, one of the data is unrecognized because Bangalore is no longer a valid name. It has been changed. So in this case, what I can do is manually enter the location just like this and click on OK. So this would be a match then. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.